All right, we're now about to attach a wire to a connector pin, a solder style connector pin. Uh, go ahead, Jen, go ahead and read each step. Step one is you're gonna prepare the connection. A, prepare the stranded wire. Okay, the stranded wire, I already pre-tended in the solder pod as we talked about in previous steps. B, insert the terminal into the phenolic block. All right, I took my terminal, it's inserted into a phenolic block. C, place the end of the stripped and tin wire into the cup. All right, this wire, I stripped it long on purpose. So you can see that I'm gonna place it into the solder cup, okay? The insulation should not be embedded in the solder joint and shall be less than two wire diameters, including insulation. All right, it's obvious that the insulation is not touching the connection. However, it is way more than one I mean more than two wire lengths. So I need to trim this connection. So I'm going to trim it down. Remove the wire and use wire cutters to cut the wire to the, de to the desired length. All right. I'm now going to place my wire back into my terminal and I'm going to check to make sure that my insulation is now not touching my top of my solder cup, which it isn't and that it's no greater than two wire lengths, which right now it's at one wire length. So it's within that two range. So we're gonna call that good. Okay, D, clean the terminal with an acid brush using a proof solvent. All right, I'm gonna take my isopropyl alcohol and I'm gonna clean, make sure that you get inside the hole, the solder cup, and then on the outside, okay? E. Tin the terminal by inserting the end of the solder into the cup and placing the iron so that it touches the solder and the side of the terminal at the same time. Fill the cup with solder and cover all this inside surface. Okay, so now I'm going to apply flux to the solder cup and to the, uh, uh, just let it run on the outside. Awesome. I want to remove the gold off the connector. In order to do that, I need to apply solder. So I'm simply going to cut my solder off. I'm going to uh, I'm going to clean my solder. I'm going to place it inside the cup. I'm going to clean my solder tip. I need to tin my tip. Place the solder back in the cup and now touch both at the same time. And I want to make sure I get enough solder on the cup to remove the gold. All right, and it's obvious that I cannot add a wire. Some folks would heat it up and insert the wire. We don't want to do that because that introduces a lot of contamination. So the next step. F, to wick the solder from the terminal, insert a stranded wire that has been coated with flux. Position the iron tip against the wire. The wire will get hot and melt the solder, which will then wick up into the stranded wire. Cut off the wire that has solder wicked into it. Re repeat the wicking process until there's no solder left to remove. All right, there's a couple things we can do. I want to remove that solder. I can use a wire, another wire with flux to remove it. The first thing though, I have so much uh, solder on there, I'm gonna use a very thin wick to get it started. Use a thin wick. I placed flux on the wick. I'm going to clean my soldering iron. And I'm going to soak up as much of this solder as possible. All right, I'm going to move it down. I'm going to make sure the outside doesn't have any globs of solder. So I can even lay it and kind of wrap it around. Soak it up. There we go. Looks pretty clean. However, there's solder in the bottom of that cup. Since there's solder in the bottom of that cup, I'm going to do exactly what they said. I'm going to take the wire. I'm going to strip it. I'm going to clean it. I'm going to flux it. And I'm going to place it inside the cup. And I'm going to wick 
out any excess solder. In order to do that though, I actually have to add a little solder to form a bridge and to soak it into the wire. I get the bridge going and I simply take my iron up the outside of the wire so the solder follows it up the wire and soaks it up and it leaves the solder cup clean. I'm going to tin my wire, place it back in the holder. I'm going to cut that piece off because that's a junk. And I'm going to See, the next step. clean the terminal with the acid brush. I'm going to clean it with an acid brush. First, I'm going to place the chem wipe over the top so I don't make a giant mess to soak up any excess flux. Getting inside and outside, as much inside as I can get. Make it nice and clean. Step two, you're going to position the wire, attach the wire from the terminal to the spring. Okay, so I'm going to position the wire, I'm going to attach it to the spring. Um, I, before I insert the wire that I prepared, before I insert that, oops, this one, before I insert this into the cup, I want to just hit it with alcohol, clean it. I'm going to insert it in, although I'm going to clean it again, but I'm going to insert it, I'm going to hold it, lay it over, and I want it going straight into the cup. Get a little bend there, and it looks good. Okay. Clean the connection. All right, so now once again, I'm gonna clean the connection with my acid brush, lightly cleaning it. Keeping that wire up against the back of the cup, a good mechanical connection. I'm, I'm gonna try again a little bit further back. I want it against the back of the cup. There we go. Okay. Step four, you're going to cut the solder. Okay, so I'm going to add flux. I'm preparing it to be soldered. I'm going to cut the solder, a new piece, cut it, clean it. Okay. Step five, clean the soldering iron. Okay, now i got to get the iron prepped. I'm going to take a non-soaked wipe, wipe the iron. Remove the oxidation. Okay. Step six, you're going to position the iron. Place the clean soldering iron tip against the terminal so as to connect both the wire and the terminal at the same time. Okay. So what I want to do is form a solder bridge and I got to touch the iron and the wire at the same time and form a bridge by just dabbing a little solder between the iron, the wire, and the cup. I do not want to go against the back of the cup because it'll leave a little spike at the back. I need to form all three. Then I'm going to touch it for about three seconds max, allowing the flux to bubble out. It'll bubble, and then I'll see it solid. I don't want to add too much solder because I want a nice concave connection in between the wire and the connector pin itself. I'm going to form it and then remove the, the solder and then lastly, I'll remove the iron. So I need to clean this again because it oxidized as I talked. I'm going to place this against the wire and the connector itself, form a bridge, and then add just enough solder, remove it, and remove. Step seven, mm -hmm. now that we've applied a small amount of solder to the junction where the wire and the terminal and the tip meet, we've made a solder bridge. Now step nine, clean the connection clean the flux from the solder connection. Okay, so we formed our bridge, we added our excess solder, our excess solder, our solder. Now I'm going to clean the connection to remove that flux. Scrub dub dub. Step 10, mm -hmm. inspect the connection. I'm going to remove it and make sure that I don't have excess solder, any solder spikes, flux. A million things can go wrong when you make these things. Make sure it didn't move. I don't know if you can see that. But I'm looking to make sure that I can still see the wire strands, which I can still see. 
I see the wire strands. I can still, and I can see a nice fillet between the solder cup and the wire. And then to make sure that my insulation didn't shrink back more than two lengths from the connector pin, which it didn't, it's still at one length. If you overheat it, sometimes the insulation has a tendency to shrink back. And if it goes above, uh, beyond two wire insulations, uh, then it's, uh, it shrunk back too far. But that looks like a good connection. I just need to clean it up a little more. As you can see, it still has flux on the pin, which I can simply do by taking a chem wipe, cleaning the entire thing, and that would be a good connection. Huh. See?